Hey, welcome to the greenhouse. I'm Alex. Today we're going to talk about carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Come on in. A photograph of the Earth from space shows us clouds, oceans, and continents. We can also see that Earth's atmosphere is a very thin layer of gas. It's only about 1% of the radius of the Earth. And although we can see some water vapor condenses clouds, most of the atmosphere is transparent. In order to understand the gases that make up the atmosphere, let's get down to Earth at the Mauna Loa Atmospheric Observatory, where scientists study the gases that make up the atmosphere. Mauna Loa Observatory is in a very remote location. It's in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and it's above the clouds, away from any interference from day-to-day -day human activity. Measurements of atmospheric carbon dioxide were begun in 1958, and those measurements continue today. The CO2 sensor is located up on the top of this instrument tower. Let's take a look at the CO2 record here. Here are the measurements of atmospheric carbon dioxide from 1958 to 2018. When I look at these data, two things stand out. The first is the sawtooth pattern, the increase and decrease that happens every year. The second pattern is the overall increase from about 315 parts per million in 1958 to 415 parts per million today. Let's think about these two patterns. When we see the sawtooth pattern and it happens every year, that's a signal that we should be thinking about seasons. What seasonal events impact CO2 in the atmosphere? How about photosynthesis and the summertime growth of plants? This is a visualization from a NASA satellite that studies vegetation. It will run through three years of seasonal change. Notice how in June, July, August, there's a lot of vegetation in the Northern Hemisphere. This is the time when we see a decrease in CO2. Plants are consuming it and growing biomass. In December, January, February, there are very few plants in the Northern Hemisphere and the activity switches to the south. Now, respiration and decay are adding CO2 to the Northern Hemisphere atmosphere, and we see it increase on the instrument at Mauna Loa. The seasonal photosynthesis cycle is balanced. Uptake by plants and release through respiration moves CO2 around but they move the same amount in and out every year. So what about this overall upward trend? To explain this, we need to think about a process that adds CO2 to the atmosphere and doesn't have any corresponding removal process to balance the addition. Burning fossil fuels is a one-way process. When humans burn gas, oil, and coal to power our society, we release CO2 to the atmosphere. But we have no compensating activity that takes it back out so the amount of CO2 increases every year. Let's go back to Mauna Loa Observatory. These data are publicly available, so we can download and explore them in more detail. For example, with this graph, we can see that CO2 is increasing. But we can also ask, how fast is it increasing? To answer that, we measure the slope of the line, the change in CO2 on the vertical axis divided by the change in time on the horizontal axis. When we do that, we get an average rate of change of 1.6 parts per million per year. There's something else we see when we compare the data to a straight line. In the early part of the record, the rate of change is less than the overall average, and in the most recent years, the rate of change is much greater than average. Let's calculate the rate of change for the first decade from 1958 to 1967, and for the last decade from 2010 to 2019. In the 1960s, the rate was 0.7 parts per million per year and now it's 2.4 parts per million per year. We're adding CO2 now at a rate that's more than three times as fast as we were 60 years ago. Three times faster is a lot. What if you could run three times faster than everyone else? That would be astonishing. And so is this, but it's astonishing in a bad way. This is why it's important to think about our carbon footprint and what we can do about reducing it. There are lots of choices. We just need to pick one and get started.